Lighting is one of the major factors in whether an image has a cinematic look or feel. This can be through the use of motivating light, creating contrast and colour with light, as well as creating depth with light. In this video, I'm going to show you how I try to achieve this with much smaller and affordable lights that also have RGB capabilities as well. So I'm currently in the process of upgrading all my lighting equipment and I thought before I take the dive and spend a bit of money on bigger lights and more expensive lights, I thought it would be a good idea to try and see what I can create with the lights that I already have. I have three RGB lights, um, one from Aperture and that is the Aperture MC and the other two RGB lights that I have, the Ambitful A2 tube lights. Now, I bought these randomly whilst I was shopping for something else on AliExpress, but I saw these tube lights for 28 pounds and I thought, I guess I can't really go wrong. So I wanted to challenge myself by only using maximum of two lights in each scene that I wanted to create. And if there were any other lights in the scene, I wanted them to be practical lights or motivating lights. So let's jump into the first scene and see how I created this look. <laughs> trying to achieve here is motivated light so what I've done in this scene is to have a lamp in the background and that is my motivated light so what I've done is I've placed one of the a2 tube lights to the right of me I'm only using one light in this scene and what I've done is I have made that light 2700 Kelvin by doing this the light that is hitting my face is the same color temperature as the light in the background what I did in order to give the light a little bit more softness is that I took one of my old diffuser sheets that was in one of my old light modifiers and I placed it over the tube light what I also did is I placed the 5 and one reflector just to the left of me to add a little bit of fill light on the left side of my face the space within the scene is fairly small, so I wanted to try and create a little bit more depth in the scene. So what I did was I added a bit of haze in the room, which helped give the light a little bit more volume. So for this scene, what I did was I stood in front of the mirror and I placed one of the Ambitful lights just above me and shone that into the mirror and let that light, some of that light bounce on the mirror and bounce back onto my face. I used the RGB functionality on the Ambitful light. I turned that down to kind of a greenish hue uh, just to kind of get that murky green and moody look. To add a little bit more interest in the scene, what I did was I left one of the doors in the rooms off the hallway opened and what I did was I put one of the Aperture MC lights in there. On the Aperture MC lights you can have various effects and one of those effects are a faulty bulb and what I did was I took that effect and I changed the HSI colour to the similar type of murky green just to sell that image of maybe a cheap fluorescent LED that is given a green colour cast uh, similar to what I did with the light that's in front of the mirror. Another thing I did to add a little bit more depth and interest to this scene was I took an old toothbrush and wet it and sprayed a little bit of water from that toothbrush onto the mirror, let that dry up and that added a bit of texture just to give this, the mirror a little bit more of a grittier look um, as we're going for something that's a little bit dark and moody. I thought that added a nice touch to this. Please ignore any um, poor acting skills you see in this video. Um, the concept was just to give an intense and moody look. I really like the scene. I feel the lights came in very handy because my hallway is very small and these lights are very small so it allows you to rig them up in small spaces and these are one of the benefits of having these small um, RGB lights. So the next scene we're going to look at is where I wanted to once again take advantage of the RGB capabilities of these lights and what I wanted to do was create a scene that had strong colour contrast in it. for this scene was I said I would have the background with a dark blue light and I would light my face in red to create a strong color contrast. 
So I filmed this in my office and what I did was I have some blackout blinds from Ikea and what I did was I put those on to block out the sunlight coming into the room. I placed the blue light on top of one of the radiators and put that onto full brightness. Then I took the other tube light and I boomed that just above my face. And for this, I put the grid that came with this tube light in order to control the light spill because I only wanted the red to be on, on me and not to spill onto the background. As you can see here, you can control where the light goes by how you place the grid on your light. As you can see in this example, I'm moving the grid around and you can see that the light is shifting without the grid. I wouldn't have been able to create the look that is in this scene. I really like this look for something that was very simple to set up. I think it's a strong and effective look within the scene and something very interesting that you could use, let's say in a music video. So I really like uh, how I was able to create this with just these two small RGB lights. is my favorite scene. I really like this scene. I've always wanted to try and shoot a car scene or something I've not done before. So I thought when I was creating this video idea, I thought definitely I have to create a car scene for one of these looks in this video. So when deciding how to shoot the scene, I decided I would film from inside of the car and I'd also shoot somewhere that had street lights because I wanted to have a motivated light as well as have a light that had some tungsten color on it because I wanted to use a complementary color scheme of blue and orange. So I found an area which had street lights but was also next to some bushes which had nice flowers as well as some practical lights coming from some of the buildings just behind those bushes. What I also did was to spray a little bit of water on the window that you can see in the background and then spray too much but just a little bit to add a little bit more volume to the light and also add a little bit more visual interest to the scene as well. So as you can see, the motivated light that is in this scene is the street light that you can see in the top left hand corner. Now that light wasn't strong enough to light me. So what I did was I took one of the tube lights, set that to 2700 Kelvin in order to match the tungsten color of that street light. And then I placed that light just behind the steering wheel column by where the speedometer is. And that is the light that is lighting my face. But as it's the same color temperature as the street light, which I'm using as my motivated light source, it seems as if the street light is light in my face. To achieve the complementary color scheme of blue and orange, what I did is I took the other tube light, placed it at the back of the car, and I set that to a bluish teal color. So that light was almost acting as a rim light, giving a bit of shape to the back of my head, as well as separating me from the background. I really like how this scene came out. It's my favorite out of all the scenes that I shot. I was able to achieve all the things I wanted to achieve by relying on these two small tube lights, as well as using the lights that already existed, i.e. the street light, some of the lights coming from the other buildings in the background. I really feel like those really helped to sell the scene and add a lot of visual interest to the scene. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop the video a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.